Eurorack quantizers. If you are not familiar with them, you might think they quantize your beats to a grid. Wrong. So what are they? The mysterious Eurorack quantizers. You put a continuous, random or whatever other voltages you might have lying around into a quantizer and quantizer quantizes that voltage to a chromatic or any other scale, generating musically valid values. So at the output of the quantizer you get actual notes that you actually can use in your musical composition. But not all quantizers are created equal. I think the tip-top audio quantizer strikes a perfect balance of features, controls, price, precision and speed of operation. Another problem with quantizers is the fact that most modern sequencers have quantized output. And that makes those amazing modules, unfortunately, obsolete. So what do you do with a product like that in 2021? You create an alternative firmware. With the new firmware, you can turn your quantizer into an arpeggiator or a notes recorder, practically adding a very powerful tool to your Eurorack system. Let's have a look. But before we do that, a few things to remember. The labels on the module are obviously quantizer related, but it is very easy to memorize new functions. I've read the manual only once and have no need to reference it ever since. And speaking of the manual, read it. It is very easy to understand. And I read a lot of manuals. <laughs> To get going, plug gate into a clock in. Plug one volt per octave out into your oscillator. Tune your oscillator to C. Make sure the record mode is set to arpeggiator. Use slider to set octave range. All the way down is one octave, fully up is four octaves. Change the direction of the pattern with the keyboard button. Enter the step recorder by pressing record until major LED is off, minor LED is on and the record button flashes continuously. Press S2 and C to edit the first step record slot. Set slider for the octave of the note. Just like an arpeggiator it has a 4 octave range. <laughs> Up to 16 notes can be entered. The playback direction can be changed with the keyboard button, just like the arpeggiator. Of course, you can copy and paste patterns and you can save the state of the device. Let's talk about the inputs. Note CV is used for transposing the pattern. CV is used to address patterns from memory, arpeggiator pattern as well as sequenced patterns. Arpeggiator and step recorder have 12 memory slots each. Clock in advances to the next note.
Reset, return to the first note of the pattern. You can find the alternative firmware on TipTop Audio's website. Thank you for watching. We'll meet again.